Good morning, hashtag Team Allblade, and welcome back to another Sumi Shares video, guys, with me on a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video, guys. I am so excited to have you here. I am thrilled. Thank you for clicking into my video and for joining me today. It's going to be a phenomenal shave with something that's completely custom. Absolutely hand-fit by these hands, guys. I'm so excited today. We're going to be taking the Yachi V3 Adjustable, the Gibbs kind of, uh, you know, tribute, the, the kind of ode to the Gibbs, you could say, and making it just a little bit more efficient, guys. Today we're taking that razor and we're making it into something that uses, guys, it's going to be using a single ring head and, um, and base plate, right? This is the single ring from the 20s, guys, with an old type barrel um, custom fit, guys, to um, the sleeve. So we're going to be essentially making an adjustable closed bar old type, guys. For your viewing pleasure, take a look at this. It's going to increase blade exposure. It's going to increase the angle at which, you know, the blade is contacting the skin. It's going to change the amount of efficiency we're going to get out of this razor and hopefully make it kind of, you know, a little bit more bite to it, right? Taking that DE89 cap, removing it, and just giving more gap and more exposure to the razor, guys. I am so excited to be using this and showcasing what a beautiful little project this has been. And guys, keep in mind, this razor, the barrel right here is cracked. Guys, so we're taking something that, you know, wouldn't have been perfectly usable as is, and we're just tweaking it so that it's beautiful and usable as, uh, as you know, a new thing, right? As, as, as a barrel for the Yachi um, adjustable razor, guys. I'm so excited to be using this. I think it's really pretty. And I think it just is, I think it's going to absolutely outshade what it was from the stock factor, right? This is ultra Frankenstein single ring Gillette, uh, Yachty, you know, combination here. And I think it's going to be so fun. Guys. I'm so excited. Um, today, I don't want to waste any of your guys' time. We're going to go and we're going to use Noble Otter. This is Lone Star, guys. Beautiful scent. Really, really nice. And I thought that the um, cap played well with the colors of the razor and the brush, guys. I think it worked really, really well together. And it's a scent I haven't used for a while, so I, I'm just excited to use it. We're going to go Barbershop on top of that from Shannon's. Just to give it a nice, it just adds kind of a floral component to it. I like, you know, just it just adds a little more to it. And guys, I've already got it whip, whipped up. And here we go, really quickly. Let's take a look and see how we did. This is the Noble Otter Lone Star, guys. And I'm telling you, I, this is the kind of performance I get every single time. And we're using the Smaug Owner's Club Brush, guys. Owner's Club Brush. So this is going to be the shave today. I'm really excited to be doing it on the dome with you guys here and trying out uh, my creation, guys. My personal living razor, right? It's I, I love it. I think it's awesome. I think it's really cool. And I think it breathes life into a product, into a tube, into a barrel at least, right? That I haven't used for a long time. So we're going to be taking pieces from this razor and pieces from a razor that looks very similar to this, right? The ball end old type and making ourselves kind of an adjustable old type, you know, yachty combination monstrosity here. I know it may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I'm really, really excited to showcase something just kind of out of the box, which is I love, it's something I love doing here, right? I love doing things out of the box. And I think this is just right on the right pace, guys. So let's go get it loaded up really quickly. I'm going to show you guys how it works, how I did it, and make it so that if you own one of these razors, right, you bought one for 30 bucks or 25 bucks, and you have all the other pieces laying around, how to do it yourself. Come with me, guys. I'll show you. I'll see you on the Subi Hat Cam angle. So excited to be showcasing. Guys, this is going to hopefully make the razor uh, a little bit more efficient and definitely give it some more blade fill because it's going to decrease the amount of blade, uh, 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 the amount of cap that is um, being exposed. Guys, if you look at the cap side by side, I'm gonna try to get them side by side there. You can see the, the Yachi is a little bit longer and the Yachi is also much steeper than the um, old type single ring cap, guys. Way steeper and way longer. And what that's gonna mean is you're gonna get less blade exposure, but you're also gonna have a little bit of adjustment that has to go to the skin to make the blade go actually have contact where this will not be that way, guys. If you're really curious and you're sitting here like, how did he even make this possible? I'm going to show you guys. Most old types, guys, look like this. They have a ball at the bottom of them and they have a little piece on top. 
they press these two pieces together in a tube. See, there's the top of it and there's the bottom of it. And what happened is when they pressed these over a long period of time, because it was very thin metal here, they developed cracks. Now this was one that doesn't have a single crack on it. Take a look at this. Not a single mar or crack on that barrel. And this is a special, you know, this is the Goodwill, a special edition version of the old type. But guys, this right here is a nice one. Let me show you mine. Mine, this is what usually they look like, guys. They crack down the center like this. And then what happens is the ball and the top piece just fall out. So this is one I bought. It actually came this way a long time ago, and it just it's pretty much been had. And I thought to myself, what a perfect way to reuse something that's not getting a lot of use, right? By just making it into an adjustable sleeve barrel, right? So what I also had to do, guys, because the Yachi actually has uh, holes like an old type does, right? It actually fits the old type. I grabbed my single ring that Gillette produced in the 20s, right? And uh, if you guys see, it actually it looks very similar to the Yachi version, right? It looks very, very similar, just open comb. And all I did was just take my single ring barrel, um, the screws together at the bottom of this guy's right here, and take a look. It comes right out like this. There is my single ring barrel from the 20s. And then how this works is it just comes right out. And usually these will be threaded, okay? You'll thread this, and I'll show you guys on the Yachi's actual one. You guys can see it has threads on the barrel, right? has threads and what that does is it screws in like this and it keeps everything nice and happy um, so that when you're adjusting the wheel the, the barrel doesn't move it's more of a nice convenience it also locks it in at a certain height so that you're not able to over adjust or over you know or under adjust if that makes sense but for our purposes i don't think that matters i know where i want to use this razor so what i did is i took the barrel that had kind of fallen apart guys and i started sanding and i i actually sand and hand fit it so that when it was maxed out where it's adjusted down to a six guys that's where this is going to fit nice and snug uh, on the barrel side so i did it took me probably 20 30 minutes i went really slow and just hand sanded it so that it fit to the um, height that i needed you guys can see the barrel does not um, it does fit very 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 snug but there's not going to be any damage to this right it's it's very very easy to go in and out and then that leaves you with about that much room up top for the additional um, uh, the additional threading, right? So this right here is a 10. Uh, if you're curious, it's in metric, guys, and it's a 10 by 1.25 on the threads for Yachi. Um, but I don't actually, I didn't have to tap or anything on this because it fits together really tight, guys. It fits together really, really tight because I hand fit it, right? I actually made sure that it fit the, the, the height I wanted. And with the adjustment wheel all the way down at the, really like the six. So here's it all the way at the one, guys, how the Yachi V3 works is that it goes down to the one, and then you just crank it. And that's a five, there's the six. And I actually adjusted mine, guys, so I could go up even a little higher if I wanted to, kind of like the Rex. So like that's like a, this that's like a, almost like a seven, right? I made it so you could I could adjust it even a little bit more because of how um, mild the razor was to start. But we're, today we're gonna find out because I think this is gonna make it so it's much more aggressive, much more blade fill, and much more efficient. Um, and I'm really excited about that. I also just think it's really cool we're using this piece, and I think it's really pretty in this format, right? Like this, I think it's beautiful. And I know while I'm out vintage uh, hunting this summer, I'm gonna look for more barrels and maybe try to find one that's in a bit better condition to do this with, because I think it's really pretty in this format. All right, guys, let's get it loaded and see how it shapes. I'm grabbing some, these are the Derby Blacks. I've been using them all on the daily recently. Um, I got them for really cheap on Amazon, and they're a blade that works for me um, really well. So we're gonna find out how, the, it's more of a medium blade. It's not super sharp, but we're gonna find out how it fills in this razor, guys. I am going to be subi stacking where I take my two blades and I combine them to make one blade and I load one side, guys. I do that because I feel like it reduces um, the amount of chatter I get and it increases the amount of rigidity um, within the head cap. That's my theory, at least. That's how it feels on my skin. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop that up and like, just like that, slide in my blades. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of a pla the plastic backing piece here, guys. And I'm just going to 
tap it into place, make sure everything looks nice and flush. The one thing I didn't love about the Yachi um, V3 adjustable guys was the um, amount of, not only the amount of mildness that it was, but the, I just really feel like the, the product could have been done better, in my opinion, just a little bit better. So there we go, guys. It, there, that's it all put together. My fit and finish when I first got it out of the box, guys, it was rough. Like the wheel didn't spin well. And it's a $30 product and it is what it is, right? Um, we're going to put it right there. I'm going to start it at a five. Just like I've been shaving with my, uh, like a five, six. And just like I've been shaving with it before and see how it goes. Here it is, guys, with the blade loaded in place, ready to rock on this. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go get it. Um, let's go get it on the dome, guys, and see how it shaves. And welcome back, guys, from the Subi Hack Hand Angle. I hope that's exciting. I hope that's entertaining, and I hope that it shows you guys how I did it. And if you own one of these razors and the pieces, how you can do it too, right? If you've got one of these barrels that's completely shattered down the side of it, and you're like, I don't know what I'll ever use that for, guys, right here. Or maybe you found one that's come apart. It came unglued or it came unpressed, and you have a nice barrel as is. Guys, I'm telling you, I think that makes a really beautiful sleeve for these Yachi parts, right? And I did, I did check, guys, and it fits the Rex. So I can do the same thing with the Rex shave coming up. I'm so excited. I love it. And I have no idea how it's going to shave. So come with me. Let's get this dome all wetted up. And let's do it, guys. I am over the rainbow. I am chasing the pot of gold today. I am so excited because, guys... This is something that is like, I don't know, I think it's really pretty and I think it almost makes it like an old type adjustable razor. And I love the old type cap. I love how it feels on the skin. And I think being able to go from like a one all the way up to wild is just a cool concept. I think it's a really fun, interesting concept. So we're gonna find out today if it actually works. I may be backing out of this. I may be running away and saying, okay, one pass is solid for me. I don't need to do anymore. But I'm really excited. We're gonna start it out, guys. I'm putting it up on a five. I'm going to show you guys kind of how it looks um, really quickly, going from a uh, one through a seven. Essentially, I have like a, a seventh setting there that just in case I, I'm not getting enough, the Yachi really allows you to have a lot of adjustment. And how it works, guys, is we're going to start, I'm going to show you guys on um, right here really quick. We're going to, oh, it's going to be a little bit harder. I should have done this on the Subi Hat Cam. Um, so I want to show you guys the gap here. That's pretty good. I wanted to show you guys the gap increase as we twist this. I don't know if it's gonna let me. Yes, I, I don't even know if that works for you guys, but look at the amount of gap there. And you can see the bottom of it, the little holes, guys. Watch it go down. See those holes? You see the piece here, these little knobs, how they're going up? It has a lot of adjustment, guys. Lots and lots and lots of adjustment. So that's maxed out for me. That's like on this, yeah, the seven that I essentially made it allowed to go to. We're gonna start it on a five and just throw it on a five and see how it fills. So that's pretty aggressive for this razor, right? When I used it before with the D89 head and the um, cap guys, it was super mild. I was able to max the razor out and shave without any issues. So uh, we're gonna find out today if that's still the case, right? Hopefully everybody's weeks are phenomenal. Hopefully everybody you know was able to get some relaxation over the weekend. I know I was extremely busy, guys, and that's why you didn't see a ton from me on video. I've just been, you know, I've been building and kind of tweaking and editing and making this little side project for a couple days now. I went looking for parts at Home Depot. It's kind of just digging around, and my buddy Taro reached out and said, Have "You tried an old type tube," and I was like, "Oh my goodness, it's genius!" So, guys, single ring with the old type tube. What a cool, what a just a cool project. And I'm really excited. It's one, if it works, it's going to stay out on the counter, right? Because I think it's really pretty just as is. I think that's a really, really pretty way of shaving, in my opinion. Just my opinion here. All right, here we go, guys. And I like the bottom of it, too. It has that single ring knob at the bottom. Very nice. Now, I did want to mention the amount of threads that's coming from my old type cap to the bottom. There's not a ton of them. So you have to be a little bit gentle when you're assembling. This is night and day difference. Okie doke. Yeah, that's really efficient. It feels kind of weird with the the um, the bait the plate guys with the bar with the with the actual shade bar. It feels a little bit weird to be honest. 
because you have the brass cap and then you have the the scallop bar it's it's definitely odd but it's a good shave good heavens it's a good shave look at this guys look at all that lather coming off beautiful dome shave and we're going with like 34 hours of growth here guys like it's a lot of growth to chew through come on tell me you guys get that kind of closeness with the final cut razor as is i just don't but for 30 bucks now i would say this is an adjustable razor that i would love to use on a daily basis man that is really nice the weight the fill everything about it is great it is gravy wow that is nice that is smooth look how much it's taken um, how much lather it's taken off guys look at this i would definitely say it's it's a very smooth shape very 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 smooth shaver very comfortable actually very comfortable and this does not like i said have the threads up top so, you know, you do have to kind of hold them in place as you're adjusting the wheel. It's not that big of a problem for me. Oh, love that, guys. Love that. Wow. Yeah, she's adjustable with a little bit of extra help, right, with the single ring of old. I've got so much stubble in my sink right now, guys. Oh, so I've been using the Rex on a pretty consistent basis. And this is kind of fun to go use something that's kind of like almost, you know, in the same market space. Very similar. And get a shave with it. It actually shaves really similar, guys. Take a look at this. Look at that. It shaves very similar now with that old type head, guys. With the old type cap. Very, very efficient, but extremely smooth. I would say it has a blade fill similar almost to my Rex. Yeah, blade feels really similar. Keep in mind, we are on the five setting. This has more adjustment in it if I really want to go up. Wow. The thing that's kind of blowing my mind is how smooth it is. It just reminds me of my old type smoothness. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. Wow, that's a good shave. That's a really nice, efficient. That's exactly what I think I needed from this product is just a little bit more blade fill. It wasn't for me. I used it about five times and it just was too mild. It just didn't have this. I didn't have enough blade fill for me to really. And the efficiency was just too mild. I know there's a lot of guys that really swear by the DE89 and love it. It just. I don't love that head cap, personally, for dome shaving. And this really is like, wow, it's nice. We're almost there. I think this changed it by 75%. Guys, it's like, I know that's a Subi stat, right? I'm going to start making that up. We're going to start having like Subi stats. Just things that I pull out of nowhere. But it feels at least two times more aggressive. And more blade fill, more efficient, more everything. More pretty, too. More more beautiful as well. Take a look at this, guys. Look at the garbage coming off my head. Oh, I love that. Now, I do think if you could thread, you know what I mean? Put a little, uh, like, thread on top, in top of that, it would be even a little bit better. It would be a little bit better, in my opinion. Because I had to f um, hand fit it so that it was tight. But there's not anything in there thread-wise holding it solid in place. And that would just make it absolutely perfect. And I may have to try to get something to do that because this is really nice. Wow, this is really good. Oh, and I know there's a lot of people that are like, I wouldn't want to, you know, go to all the effort and energy. I think that's part of the fun for me. I think it's part of the fun is getting a, a you know, something like this that we you make by your, yourself. You make, you actually made it by your own hands. And I think that's cool. I love that. Oh, it's very comfortable. On this five setting, it's extremely comfortable. I think I may have just found something I really, really enjoy. Now, the one thing about the um, the Yachi I wanted to mention, and I totally spaced it earlier, is that the spring in the Yachi is not as nice as the spring inside of the Rex. 
And some people did report uneven um, blade bars as it adjusts up and down. I have not had that problem. But what I do get is sometimes the head will click up, up, you know, and if I put a little bit of pressure on it, I can hear it click because the spring kind of moves. Other than that, guys, it's sweet. This is gravy. Super ultra gravy, guys. Wow, what a freaking shave. Yep. I mean, whoa, beautiful. That's it. I didn't, I thought we had two more passes or something, guys. That's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna towel off here and see how we did. Look at this. We did that with the Yachi, guys, with the Yachi single ring. I don't even know what to call this. The, the single ring final cut. I have no idea even what to call it, but it is a shaver now, guys. Woof. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is money and a half. We had, I made it by my own two hands, guys. That's cool, man, if you ask me. I think that's radical. I think that's so cool. Just something I've been playing around with. Just a little concept, little side project, guys, and I wanted to share it with you. So that's it. Oh, beautiful scent from, again, from Shannon's. It's the barbershop. And this was given to me by my buddy Blake. What an awesome scent, and what a scent that goes right well with Lone Star, in my opinion. Lone Star's got like this sagey smell to it, and you add the barbershop, and they play really nicely together. Woo! Guys, I'm going to go enjoy my BBS that's just perfect, and I know for sure I'm going to keep looking into a way to make this better. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. It was so much fun seeing everybody. I'll see you in the next videos. Talk to you guys later. Bye!